Hello, hello, hello. I'm Alucard Knight Raven. Welcome to my channel. And welcome to my next retro review. And first, I want to apologize. It's been a while since I've done a video. Holidays were crazy. It's been hectic time. Haven't really been able to get anything out, but trying to get that all straightened out. Christmas coming up. I may not get much out, so I do apologize about that ahead of time. But I will get back on track for sure once the holidays are over so crazy time family time lots of stuff going on but let's get into our next retro review today we are looking at transmetal 2 dinobot and first thing to start off with just like i showed off in my transmetal 2 cheetor review the purple chrome so cool yet quite a bit is chipped off in the years so i bought this when it first came out have had it since then cool figure really looking forward to trans arts version and the improvements that they're going to have with their version because as cool as it is this figure has so many improvements that it could use but let us take a look so as you can see very cool sort of uh skeletal cyber bony <laughs> head i mean that's really all i can say about it <laughs> and the tail one thing that's cool with the tail you spin this piece right here Whoop. and you can flip the tail around so very cool with that really digging that so again very cool absolutely love it um you can see it's sort of this bone white which has discolored in the years um my ball joints in here are pretty loose probably need to uh do something to get them up but yeah you can see how a bunch of it is chipped away so it's not so much purple you can see just the chrome underneath same thing up here some of that red has chipped away um if you actually open this up there's his spark crystal and let's see if you can see it and get a little more light there we go you can hopefully you can see it there's the predacon symbol inside there i know kind of hard to see but again very cool close that back up and there's it didn't open up like this in the show this becomes his chest so that's what that's for um you can see how everything folds up uh, as for articulation with this guy the head can move up and down you can open the mouth you can see there's like this little alien secondary mouth in there <laughs> kind of neat kind of interesting you can move this up and down you can move this up and down though you kind of it's supposed to be more up like this to give the impression of arms but yeah get a little bit of movement there legs move up in here and here and the toe and this kind of moves but not quite so much so yeah in dino mode raptor mode not too bad in it's all right so yeah so let's get into transforming this guy so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, pull this open here and you can see there's this tab here that just sits right in there when in this mode so we'll pop this open gonna bring these open and I actually want to bring these down just a bit open that so this open want to take this just bring it down like this then with all of this we want to bring this down and see how this is doing you want to untab this that's gonna bring all this up just like this yeah you kind of see you got a lot of movement here that you got to do so this you want to bring the legs and everything down till it just sort of soft thoops in then you can straighten out the legs and with 
that, what we want to do is push all this head up like this. So it kind of sits pretty much like that. That'll bring that forward. Then there's this little nub right here that's going to plug in to that port right there. Same thing on this side. And then what we want to do is bring this and you kind of want to hold this together and push until, okay, maybe bring it down. So this is where it's a little bit of a pain, but yeah, kind of want to push it. Oh, whoops. Pop the, pop the arm off slash leg. There we go. So it's kind of, you're going to sit in there like that. Same thing with this one. There we go. That helps fill in the chest. Um, I don't know why they made it that tough, but we do want, whoops. here as far up as we can get it and I think that's really all the further that's gonna go up yeah okay let's bring that in bring this back in there we go pop the arm back on come on there we go. And then you just sort of get all of this in a way where, you know. So the, the arms are like the weakest part, honestly, in my opinion. You know. But hey, it's what we can do with it. And there we go. And there's Dinobot in his robot mode, and kind of weak, not the best robot mode. You know, arms are these long, gangly things. You know, like I said, looking forward to Transart's version. Can't wait to see what they do. Like, they're, it's already looking pretty good, but yeah. That's Dinobot. Dinobot 2, Transmetal 2 Dinobot. You can take a look at the head here. So, very uh, cybernetic Dinobot head. Again, very cool. A lot of potential there. But, you know, sometimes the toys were, like, on the mark. Sometimes they weren't. So, But it is what it is. And, of course, yeah, you just open up and there's that spark chamber, which technically was half of Rampage's spark. Um, articulation, head just turns. Pull this up and arms do full 360 out this way. You got movement here. You got movement here. You got movement here. Nothing for chest or for the waist. Legs kick out that far. Kick forward. Nice high kick. Kick back. Pretty decent amount. Only a little bit here. Only, yeah. And knee around 90. And then you get this movement here and here. So, yeah, a little bit of articulation. He's a little limited, but yeah. And you can pull the tail out. And he doesn't really have, does he have a way of holding it? No, no, he doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't really have a way of holding, holding the tail. So, but it can, it, I think it was mainly like that. So in the, with the packaging, it didn't have to, um, take up a whole lot of space so he could do a smaller packaging in, in the show his tail never popped out um, in this form it did for normal Dinobot but yeah this Dinobot the tail sort of stayed and I think it shrunk down or looked like it shrunk down in the show but yeah it's not too much of a figure not too big of a figure not too bad 
could use some improvement. Like I said, looking forward to what TransArt does. Um, I know their uh, Transmetal Rat Trap is on the way to me. Can't wait for that to show up. Looking forward to that, but yeah. So yeah, there is Transmetal 2 Dinobot, also known as Dinobot 2. And honestly, if you want, you could skip this. I would wait for TransArts, especially if you're more into the Masterpiece. But if you want an original, check out mine. It's not a horrible, horrible figure. It just could use... Could have been better. Um, yeah. So yeah, that's going to be it for me. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you all later.